as things that would be important for uh, young leaders or the next generation of leaders to be exposed to early on um, to be And so for me, it's what can we do in the folks that are, you know, on the RDLP program or anywhere, saying to ourselves, you know, what triggers us thinking about, I'm going to do something that someone's going to say, that's leadership. I don't think we do enough. And just to build on that, I've seen this in technology, but I think it pertains to anything. Uh, having a core to build on is really important. You have to have a set of accomplishments. You have to be good in some area for somebody to give you a chance at your first management job. And I, I see this over and over again. Getting that first management job is, I think, the toughest thing. Because you have to have domain expertise for somebody to take a chance on you. And then they have to believe you have leadership potential. But once you've shown that you can be a leader in almost anything, people will take a, you're much more ready to take a chance on you for other things. So demonstrate some skills, have some core expertise, build on that, land your first leadership job, and go from there. But I, I really believe what you said, Bob, too. People get sometimes narrowly focused on their functional area and they're not looking around. If you build that core expertise that I was talking about, just be aware of other things going on and listen and learn and engage with people outside your own area. That really helps a heck of a lot. The only thing I, I jump in on this awareness point is let's say you're new to the facility here. So let's say you're in the engineering area. Find a time to walk the factory. Find a time to go see the remote diagnostic center. Find a time to, you know, attend some of these other sessions. Branch out. I think the sooner people branch out and understand what else is going on, it really helps you long term. 